My name is Bella Ben. I'm uh, the founder of JGroups, JBoss Cash, and uh, I'm currently the lead, technical lead of the JBoss AS clustering team. I was teaching at the undergrad level and the grad level, and turns out people wanted to write protocols, experiment with protocol design in Java. That's how I actually uh, wrote the first version of JGroups. At that time, it was called Java Groups. And, um, it was very slow and it didn't have a lot of functionality, but it allowed students to write their protocols in Java. JGroups is quite mature, so of course I always want to try to make it faster. Uh, as an example, we're running on a cluster of eight nodes where everybody's sending messages as fast as they can. We're getting a, an, an average throughput of 85 megabytes per second, which is not 125, what could be the theoretical maximum throughput, but I don't think I will ever achieve that. So, but if I go up to 110, that's probably where I want to go, and that's very, very good. Our customers are not even going that far right now. Then the second area in JGroups is WAN, wide area network. Uh, JGroups has never been designed to do wide area networks. People are using JGroups, nevertheless, for wide area network applications, so I want to support them optimally. I want to invest a little bit more there. The next project was JBoss Cache that I wrote. The basic business problem is that you've got uh, servers uh, that are running with uh, data on it and clients connecting to it. And when a server crashes, you basically have to uh, fail over to another server. You have to replicate your data. And so what we do is basically we take the data that is in a server and replicate it across a cluster to other nodes in the same cluster so that as long as one node in the cluster stays up, your service is up. Imagine a customer, um, a big customer that depends on their uh, cluster being up, their services being up. Um, imagine what hap would happen if all the server, or if, if their only single central server crashed, their business would be down uh, for a period of time and that could be very, very bad to the business. Not just to the business, also to the reputation of that vendor. Uh, with respect to JBoss Cache, there is more uh, improvement or more changes that are coming. So one of the things we want to do is allow a, a client to place data into a cache and then kind of segment that data, uh, take it apart and distribute it across the cluster. For clustering itself, which you know resides on top of JBoss Cache and JGroups, we're going to make in incremental changes. We're going to support um, JBoss AS optimally and uh, we're going to go and uh, probably improve performance there too. But it is already very mature and very performant. So, there, so unfortunately, you know, the biggest uh, area of change is going to be in, in, in JBoss Cache. Uh, one, uh, one other area that we're working on is uh, to take a fresh look at POJOs. So POJOs, plain old Java objects. Uh, uh, J2EE, that's, where, that's our area of expertise, basically provides certain um, aspects to a, a POCHO, like, replic uh, like uh, persistence, like security, like transactions, and we want to take this a step further and add stuff like replication, remoting, all of this stuff. How do we do this? We add annotation, so at remotable means an object is accessible from a remote site. So it's very cool. You take your POJOs, you annotate them, and voila, you have a replicated um, object. Uh, this is certainly very, very hot, but it's also the youngest of our four projects, so there's more, much more development work to be done in that area.